Yes, please. Thank you. That's good to see you, man. Your pocket right there. You as well, my friend. Yes, sir, man. Y'all looking good. I, I, you know what? Well, what are y'all drinking? Because y'all don't age. You look good, too, man. I, 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 I love that look. Yeah, I yeah, love but, that look. The reason you're like that, yes. you've been in the military. Yes, Lord. And you wore that hat. Yep, mm -hmm. I sure did. And that would be your hat. Yep. But he look good. You yeah, know, some yeah. people don't look good, yeah. you know. My <laughs> son, my son was like, Dad, I, I don't want to. I don't want to be bald like that either. <laughs> so he's got uh, he's got his hair long. Okay. You know, he's you know, got it out here, got them little twists in it. And I'm like, yeah. All right. I'm like, son, you can't escape genetics. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but my dad and my brother, all of them bald. Uh -huh. I'm the only one named bald. But see, when, 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 when I wore that, when I wore that hard hat at work, I wore a cap of money. Cause I saw how I did a move me and they were taking the house. I don't even take my hand on it. My wife, I was looking at some, some old photos and I was laughing at this. And I said, why y'all can't tell? No, I'm not oh, they, they, they can pick this up. <laughs>
good to see you. I got my flats on. <laughs>
Oh, yeah. That's it. It's going to do this
gentlemen, we're going to have an opening prayer by our son of Bishop Mac Thomas. As it is many of us here, sons and daughters of this great man of God. I want you to greet Pastor David Davis with our opening prayer. Let's bow here. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come this morning just to give you thanks and to give you praise. As we honor the one that laid before us, oh God, we pray your peace, we pray your comfort, we pray your guidance for his family, oh God, that you will continue to lead, guide, and direct. Many of us that are here today are saddened by the loss of Bishop Thomas. But God, we know that you know all things. He has fought a good fight. He has kept the faith. Keep now is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's receive Pastor Peter. Pastor Peter. Mark has said to you, as our new old and new testament. The new testament scripture, second Corinthians 5. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God and a house not made with you, eternal in heaven. For in this we groan earnestly, desiring to be clothed upon with our house which is formed in heaven. If so be that being clothed, we shall not be found in for we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being buried, not for that which would be unclothed, but clothed upon us, that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Now that he hath wrought us for the same self same thing is God, who is also has given unto us the earnest of the Spirit. Therefore, we are always comforted, knowing that while as we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. Old Testament scripture will be coming from Job, the 14th chapter, starting at the first verse. Man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. He cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. He fleeth also as a shadow and continue not. And do it, thou open thy eyes upon such and one, and bring it me into judgment with thee. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? not one. Seeing his day are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pay. Turn from him that he may rest till he shall accomplish as the hiring of his day. If you look on your program, you'll see that Next up is my wife, my lovely wife, Dr. Kathy Kirkland. How will she ask the word? We're going to ask uh, if another uh, son of Mac, Minister uh, Smith, if he will come, Minister Anthony Smith, and uh, speak words of expressions of love uh, about Bishop Mac Thomas. And I know there's many here that would love to have something to say, uh, but of course, we don't want to be out in this Texas heat longer than we have to. And if one thing I do know, Bishop Thomas did not abide around in the picture. So let's receive uh, Minister Anthony Smith. We have programs that God's 
so loved the world. And he gave his only begotten son to whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. And we thank God for his tough love. He endured the cross. God himself. He endured the cross. That he could save each and every one of us. And he gave us a blessed okay. bishop. Bishop Matt Thomas. He gave us tough words. So we see it in this day and time. We would always say, you can't hang with the footman what you're going to do with the horseman. And the horseman has shown up. And we thank God for the love that he showed us through Bishop Matt Thomas. Tough love. The only way that I want it is would have received it. He gave it to us all, no matter who we were and how we were, but he showed us that love. God is a tough God. And we thank God for his word, for his word will never change. It will not return unto him void, but will accomplish that which is set out to do. And we thank uh, the Lord for Bishop Matt Thomas. We thank him for the tough love that he showed to all of us, that encouraged us, that he lifted us up, that made us who we are today, that we can press towards our mark of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. We thank you, Bishop Matt Thomas. We thank you, Mother Thomas, for that love also. And you hung all the way to the end, and you're going to continue to hang, and we're very appreciative of you, Bishop Matt Thomas, and the family that's here. And we just say we love you, and God's love, Jesus I feel it's really appropriate if there are any pastors here that came through Christ Gospel, Pentecostal, Apostolic, and Holiness Church, would you just stand? And if you're already standing, just stick your hand up. Any pastors, just, just, just stick them up. I'm giving them part of the dollar. Stick them up for me. Thank you. Look at that. Did you see that? Now, are there any ministers, part of the fivefold ministry that came through Christ Gospel? That are here. Would you stand? And if you're standing already, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Look at that. Look at that. I see you in the back. I see you. Look at that. And there are so many more that are not here that are probably watching us live right now. Those that wanted to be here. My little mother has received so many phone calls uh, sympathy and condolence. Passing the Bishop Mac Thomas. I myself was birthed in that ministry. When I got here, I was at the crossroads. Many of us know about crossroads. I was at a breaking point. For me, it was either life or death. I prayed for life. And in that prayer, I asked the Lord, Lord, send me to truth. Nothing but truth. And the Lord directed me to Christ's gospel. He directed my wife there first. And then she told me to come and see it. I had never heard a preacher preach like that. I had never heard anyone dissect the word of God in such a manner that he didn't need an education to understand the way that he was bringing the word of God. And I was so taken aback at how simply he made the word receivable. Now, yes, we heard Mr. Spirit talking about people who were in, in, in an era in this country where you had to be taught. He came through the Depression. He came through uh, uh, the times of, of World Wars and then the Korean War. Him being a veteran himself. I found out something that I didn't know, Mr. Ortiz. Yes, sir. Uh, that, uh, yes, he was in the Army, but he was a Ranger. I didn't know that. And it's, it explained a lot to me. <laughs> <laughs> but I told my son, who was also a veteran who, who went through infantry training and, and, and knows about Ranger training, he said, that explains a lot. <laughs> and it does. It, it does. explains a lot. A Bronze Star, I believe a Bronze Star recipient in that area, you don't, they don't just give those out. They don't just give those out. This man did his job. In this Central Texas area, he was well respected. He might not have knew that. People, yes, they saw his stance as being too tough and too hard, but people respected him for the stance that he took, and it was uncompromising. No one would move him from that doctrine yes. for which he stood. He received that doctrine from from Pentecostal giants, the late great Bishop uh, D. A. Chenault, uh, the late great Bishop R. A. Walls, who himself, into his hundreds, was still teaching and preaching the apostolic doctrine. 
He received teaching and training from the late great Bishop William Ellis, who, who the, the last two I named, mean, all three of them were former Diocesan Bishops of the Texas State Council of the Pentecostal Assemblies of the World. He had some solid teachers that poured into him, who in turn blessed him so that he could pour into him. We will never be able to find enough that can measure to the standard that Bishop Mac Thomas. I'm proud to say that I was a part of that ministry for myself for 13 years. I was his honor bearer, his driver, and many of you that have done that. Some of you are here today that drove for him. You knew you didn't speak a lot. You would stand at, 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 at parade rest even if you were not in the military. And whatever he said, you didn't have too many words to say back. You just listened. He was a gentleman among leaders in the faith. When you look at a bishop, a bishop has to be able to lead other pastors. A bishop has to be able to lead other leaders. You can't just be a bishop in name. You have to have leadership qualities. That means that you can lead other leaders who are leading other people. Bishop Thomas was a true bishop. He knew how to lead other leaders. He knew how to make leaders better leaders. And I'm grateful that he has poured into me, and I know several of you here are glad that he poured into you. Yes, he brought that hammer down. I remember the word of God. Cry aloud, yeah. and spare not. <laughs> he will tell you clearly that in the last days will be what? Perilous times. There will be times where people will not endure what? Sound doctrine. Bishop Thomas preached and taught sound doctrine. The kind of doctrine that sticks to you, that you can lean on, that you will, that you will be able to grab when you need it the most. And so I know many of us in here are grateful that he put sound doctrine in us. And if you're grateful that he put sound doctrine in you, let me hear you say amen. Amen. Mother Thomas, you know I love you. And I've said this before, love is an action word. You can say you love me all day long. The late Bishop Earl Parche used to say, I like it when you tell me you love me, but I love it more when you show me you love me. We hope that we have shown my wife and I and my family that we love you, we will support you, and we will be there for you. Our family is called to let us know. Let's get, let's get on with this, because again, I said Bishop was not a preacher that tolerated long ways. Amen. As we lay this general to rest today, I'm reminded of these words. I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my, my skin, worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself. And mine eyes shall behold not another. We brought nothing into this world. And it is certain we will carry nothing out. The Lord has given, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My friends, whereas death has once invaded our ranks, we commit the body of our beloved Bishop Black Thomas Jr. The Lord has deemed necessary to call from this life to the next life, the, to the undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns. It has become our sad duty to commit his body to the grave. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. And I know it is our inspiring privilege 
to commend his soul to our maker, our redeemer, our master, Jesus Christ, in the confidence and hope of the coming again of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The resurrection of the body from the grave and the joyous life reserved for the children of light in the realm of glory. Mother Thomas and the whole Thomas family, we want to read this scripture. This is one of my favorite scriptures when it comes to times like this. It comes from Philippians, the fourth chapter, verse number seven. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Now unto our God and Father be glory and honor forever. And that's all said. This concludes the portion of this service of Bible, Bishop Mac Thomas. We turn it over to the funeral home director.
pray in the name of Jesus in the days to come that you would comfort the heart, comfort the heart of the family, the children, those that are connected uh, to this family. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would strengthen them in the inner man, cause them to be strong in you and in the power of your mind. I pray, God, that they feel your presence at every turn. And I pray in the name of Jesus as we depart from this place, but not your presence, that you continue to go with us and keep us is our prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, that every man say amen. If you will, if you want to greet the family, please make a line over on this side and come around and depart down the center aisle for those who would love to greet the family at this time. I know, look, now I got us. Yeah. Oh, that's mine. Tell Timmy. Okay. I guess it's not recording once I close it. Yeah, once you close it. We want just to find all this too. Let's see.